New at five, the Fast Tracks project hitting the brakes. And take a look, here's why. Developers trying to find new homes for prairie dogs living in fields where they need to build. 7 News reporter Lindsay Sablon is live at I-225 in Islef. The first site impacted, and Lindsay, you found a solution isn't so simple. Especially and because they're dealing with several of these fields. This is the future I live stop along the I 225 corridor. Here's where the train platform will be. In this direction, the parking lot. But right now, this field is covered with mounds from the 150 prairie dogs who have to be moved. Up close, this empty field seems like the perfect place for prairie dogs to call home. But a wider view, and you can see this sits along I-225 at Iliff in Aurora, a future site for a stop on the Fast Tracks line. We've got 122 miles of, of rail and bus rapid transit being built throughout the, the metro area, so there are going to be areas where we will impact some, some prairie dogs. An RTD spokesperson tells 7 News they've contacted more than 30 places in hopes of relocating some of the estimated 720 prairie dogs along the line. All their requests denied. 7 News finding you can't move the animals from county to county without approval from the county commissioners according to a state statute. RTD hopes to relocate 150 of the animals to Lowry Range, but it's waiting for a permit from Colorado Parks and Wildlife. For the others along this line, their fate is inevitable. It's just dependent on finding receiving sites, and if we can't, then we have to move to the next step, which is, is euthanizing the dogs. With construction expected to start this summer, RTD says the clock is ticking. We work hard to do the right and humane thing, and uh, we, you know, we do have a, a project to build, and we have to move forward. An RTD spokesman per person tells me if they have to euthanize the prairie dogs, they do donate them to a raptor rehabilitation center. They went on to tell me that they work with prairie dog conservation groups to help move these animals. I tried to contact those groups myself, but have not heard back. Live in Aurora, Lindsay Sablon, 7 News.